Hello and welcome back to another Trackside at Work video. Tonight, or should I say early morning, we are going to be replacing this insulated glue joint, or a GIJ. This joint has a chip on the top, between the two rails, and has also come up failed on the ultrasonic track tester. It is also the older 4 bolt design, and will be replaced with a new 6 bolt model. The first thing to do, is to cut out the old joint, after the signal electricians, that's me, have disconnected our track circuit wires. The new joint is then cut to length and clipped back on the sleepers, or ties. The rails at each end of the joint are then meticulously lined up with the existing rails at each end, so we get a perfect weld and smooth joint. Next the support frame is installed, and this will hold the crucible, like a clay and sand bucket that holds all the powders necessary for the weld. Next, the stub ends of the rails are heated. This makes sure that the molten metal coming from the crucible reacts correctly with the existing rails. Inside the crucible is a mix of powdered iron, aluminium oxide and carbon. This combination makes a very pure weld, which is both very strong and corrosion resistant. The excess molten steel flows into the collection plate. Now you don't want to touch this, it will burn your hand and your bones right off. Once the reaction has been completed, and it's safe to do so, the crucible is removed along with the slag tin. Once the weld has cooled sufficiently, it's safe to remove the metal frame that holds the sand mould. While the weld is still semi-molten, a hydraulic shear is installed which will cut most of the slag off the top of the rail. Once that is done, a rough grind is applied to remove most of the waste metal.
It's now about an hour wait until the final grind can be done. Once the weld is cool enough, the rail can be ground to a perfect finish, ready for traffic. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief look at a thermite weld and replacing a glued insulated joint. A little bit more complicated than slipping in a Pico insulated one on the HO scar layer. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you again trackside very, very soon. Hooray for now.